Hello and welcome to the session. Let us construct a triangle XYZ in which angle Y is 30 degrees. Angle Z is 90 degrees and the sum of three sides is 11 centimeters. Now to construct the required triangle, you will follow the steps of construction. 11.6 which says to construct a triangle, given its perimeter and its two base angles. So here we are given two base angle and the sum of three sides that is the perimeter of triangle XYZ. So first let us draw a rough figure of how we are going to construct the triangle. First we shall draw a line segment AB which is the sum of three sides of the triangle XYZ that is 11 centimeters. Then we shall construct angle LAB equal to 30 degrees and angle MBA equal to 90 degrees. Now we shall bisect both of these angles. Suppose we shall bisect it with the help of a compass. Here we are just drawing it roughly. Suppose by bisecting the point of intersection, let us call it as X. Fine. Now in the next step, we shall draw the perpendicular bisectors of line segment XA and line segment XP. The point of intersection of the perpendicular bisectors, let us name them as Y and Z. Then we shall join XY and XZ to get the required triangle XYZ. So this is the required triangle XYZ such that its perimeter is 11 centimeters and angle Y is 30 degrees and angle Z is 90 degrees. Now, let us write the steps of construction and side by side, let us draw the figure also with the help of geometrical instruments. First, draw a line segment AB is equal to 11 centimeters which is the perimeter of the required triangle. Now next step is to construct angle LAB is equal to 30 degrees and angle MBA is equal to 90 degrees. So this is LAB is equal to 30 degrees and angle MBA is equal to 90 degrees. And in the third step, bisect angle LAB and angle MBA and let these bisectors intersect at a point So, 
surface is bisector of angle LAB and now let us draw bisector of angle MBA and let the point of intersection be X. In the fourth step, draw perpendicular bisectors PQ of AX and RS of BX. So this is perpendicular bisector of line segment AX. Let us call it as PQ and now let us draw the bisector of line segment BX and this is RS. Now let the two bisectors intersect the line segment AB at points Y and Z such that PQ intersects AB at Y and RS intersects AB at Z and in the last step join XY and XZ. So now let us join XY and XZ. So this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees. Therefore, triangle XYZ is the required triangle and hence triangle XYZ is the required triangle. So this completes the solution. Hope you have enjoyed it. Take care and have a good day.